In this lesson, we're going to learn how to emboss text and a closed profile. The file that I have open is called emboss.ipt and it can be found in your chapter 8 exercise folder. I'm going to start off by making this front work plane, the active sketch, and then we'll use the look at tool to look plan to that. Now from the 2D sketch panel, we'll scroll on down and I'm going to place in some text. So I'll click the text tool. Then I'm going to define my bounding box. And then in the format text dialog box, we'll type in some text. Also from here, we can go back and you can figure out how you're going to justify this. So in this case, we'll center justify it horizontally. And then we'll leave everything else. But I'm also going to change the text height. So I'm going to go back and make it 10 millimeters. And you'll notice once I did that, I also had the text highlighted. Otherwise, 10 millimeters would not have been applied to it. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now, once I have the text placed in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up, select on the General Dimension tool, and let's dimension it horizontally or vertically in this case. So let's call it 10 millimeters from the top. But now what I'd like to do is dimension this horizontally. So I could go back and define the, the box. So let's say that's going to be 70. Now what I'd like to do is justify this to the work axes. But in this case, the work axes is not on that current plane. So I'm going to use the Project Geometry tool and project the work axes forward. And now we can go back and place in our general dimension. And in this case, I'll use a relationship. So I want that dimension divided by 2. And now we have everything center justified. And that's all I need to do in this case for the sketch. So I'm going to return out of the sketch environment. So now we'll go back down to the Part Features panel. And we're looking for the tool called Emboss. And for the profile, we're going to select the text. Now I have a couple different options here. I can go back and emboss the text. I can go, basically it's going to be adding material. I can engrave it, removing some of the material, or if it was at an angle plan, I could go back and do both. So in this case, let's uh, em emboss it, and we'll keep the depth at one millimeter. And I can also change the uh, color of the front face of the text. So let's go ahead and do that. In this case, let's just ch change it to a blue, blue gray dark. Click OK and I'm going to wrap it around a face. In this case we have that cylinder. If it was just a flat plane we wouldn't need to do this. So in this case just selected the outside cylinder face. And now if I go back and turn off the visibility of that work plane you'll see that we have our embossed text. So I could go back and edit that and engrave it as needed as well. But what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to create another work plane. But in this case I'm going to base it off of the origin plane. So I'm going to select the XZ and then I'll have it to be tangent to this front plane here. I'm going to make that my active sketch. So now you'll notice that the plane basically is flipped in the wrong direction. I'm actually looking at the back face. So what I'm going to do is just move my cursor back over this and I'm going to flip the normal of that plane. You'll see that the color has changed. So now when I go back and do the look at, I'm going to be looking at the front of my information here. So in this case, I'm just going to draw in a slot. Just show another technique for doing that. I'm just going to draw in a rectangle and then I'm going to place in a couple arcs that are tangent. So with that information, I can now go back and dimension that if needed. I'm just going to skip that step for now. Again, just click Return. And again, we're going to go down and select the Emboss tool. Now for the profile, I want to make sure that I select inside of all three closed areas. Again, we'll keep it at one millimeter. And let's go ahead and engrave it. And you can see that the arrow is going in, exactly what I want. I'm going to wrap that face around the cylinder again. So in this case, we can also go back and change the color again. Let's make it a brown. Go ahead, click OK. Again, we'll turn the visibility of that work plane off. 
and you'll see that that is engraved. So like I was talking about before, we can always go back and edit this feature. In this case, let's change it to an emboss and let's change the depth to four. So I now have the slot coming back out at four millimeters.